Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vitamill and today I've got another system that everyone seems to say is great and I don't think it's all that good at all. This is the Lira Pod system by Lost Vape. And I've been using it for the last seven days and we're going to get a quick review. First we'll crack straight on to the specific information, specifications. So starting with dimensions, it's 96 tall, yeah 96, by 31 by 16 millimetres. It's got a 1000 milliamp hour battery and a 2 mil pod. Pretty standard. It fires at 10 to 20 watts. And when I say it fires at 10 to 20 watts, it's not like a lot of systems I've reviewed lately. You press the button three times and it changes on a 0.6 coil because it does mouth to lung and direct to lung. On a 0.6 coil, it does 20 watts, 18 watts or 16 watts. On a 1.2 coil it does 11 watts, 10 watts or 9 watts. Which is pretty high for a mouth to lung, I think. But anyway, it comes with a lanyard which screws in. There's a little hole here to screw in. Which I think is a bit different. Usually they've got the two line holes or two small holes to thread it through. Um, and I haven't used the lanyard so I can't really tell you how sturdy it is but it looks sturdy, it looks like it's built in rather than soldered in and now we've got the colours which I'm going to read off because there's quite a few it comes in green, peacock silver, fantasy rainbow, vortex black, lava blue, ripple green, leather silver, leather rainbow, leather black, leather blue and leather I will put a picture up, it's here, or it was there, I don't know, uh, to show you what the colours are. The battery lasts a day, maybe just a bit more, and it takes about an hour to charge, which is quite good. You can't really complain about that. So, let's get straight on to my experience and what I do and don't like about this little pod system. First of all, something I'm quite happy with is the light indicator. It's probably one of the brightest button light indicators I've had and I do think it's pretty darn good. Uh, there's a lot of others where if, if it's on the button it's not quite bright enough so if it's light you can't really see it. I don't think that's massively a problem with it. It is quite bright. I think it looks quite decent. I think it feels quite decent as well. It's not too big, it's not too small. It fits in your hand quite nicely. I think, it, I think it's alright. The mouthpiece feels quite good as well quite a natural fit. I don't know if you can see very well but it does the typical thing that then the air rolls like a bump as well so it's not too big in your mouth. And I think it fits quite nicely. It's very easy to see, I don't know if you can see it. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put my phone behind it so you can see it a bit better. I don't know about if you can see it through, through it now. It is quite easy to see the liquid level through the pod system. Which is nice, I mean I know the smock node it's got a little hole so you can see roughly but that's full height for the pod literally as it clicks into the bottom so you can see the full liquid in so you can see if there's none in it, you can see if it's full, you can see if it's half it is really decent for that again it's got an interchangeable coil, the coil's screwing you know it's damn top off I'll show you the coil's screwing so if you put it in it screws I thought the coils came straight to the bottom of the door, that is just a fixed uh, contact pad that the coils touch. So if you just pop it in, screw it in to make so it's sure it's secure, which I think is quite an elegant system. And I also do like the fact that it's a changeable coil rather than a changeable pod. I think changeable pods are a way of the past. Alright for the mouth to lung only, I suppose. But also, obviously, while we run a war against plastic, it's not very beneficial. Yada yada, I just prefer the changeable coils rather than the changeable pods. It clips in, it's quite easy to pull off, but some like the Nord, which are quite a pain to pull off, but just quite easily pops in, pops out, but not so easy that it'll fall out, it's quite decent. Now here's where I start to get a problem. If you see there's a button on either side, like a lever mechanism, and that's how you fill it up, you take the mouthpiece off, and you have to squeeze them. Squeeze. I found it, the easiest way to do it is like squeeze and roll your finger up and it pushes off. But as you can see, I'm quite struggling to get it off now. It is rather fiddly. 
I don't know if it's just mine, because always on one side I seem to struggle with it. But the mouthpiece comes off, <coughs> and then you have the pod. Now, I think the mouthpiece coming off is quite an inconvenience, because I don't think these will be as durable. Obviously, over time, after bending and bending, they'll slowly get weaker and possibly even snap. What I do like about this though, is it's got two fill holes, which you can use for air, uh, to let the air out of either side if you're filling it, which I, in the past I've said that's great. But I haven't needed that because the air holes, the fill holes are quite big. So I've found that you can actually fit the full nozzle into the tank pod and there's still air for the, uh, room for the liquid, uh, sorry, there's still room for the air to come back out so you don't get it overflowing or vacuuming and coming back out. Which I like a lot, it's a lot more beneficial. But I'm afraid, in fact I've changed my mind, I can now feel a slight magnetation. So it is magnified, but not very strongly. It just holds it down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but if we let go about there ish, it pulls it back in. So there's a very slight magnification to keep it in, which is probably why it doesn't just fall off. Um, but like I said, the air rolls and the coil, I'm sorry, but if it weren't for the... I've dropped the mouthpiece. I'm sorry, but if it weren't for the way you took the mouthpiece off, it would be perfect. But the mouthpiece massively ruins it for me. It makes it harder to fill. The, the filling is easy as hell, but getting to the filling is quite fiddly and quite faffy. And not something you could do while you're holding kids or whatever, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you're walking with a cup of tea, it'd be quite faffy and... Alright, I can't think of a good example, but you know what I mean. Now, something, while I was checking my notes to make sure I've documented everything last night, I noticed there's a slight rattling. I don't know if you can hear it. But, that feels to me like the battery's loose. And I, I didn't notice this when I opened it, and I only noticed it last night. So maybe I've damaged it. However, if it came originally rattling, then that's really poorly built and I think it's disgusting. If it's damaged, then that's even worse because it spent the entire time in my pocket. It hasn't been dropped, it hasn't been choked, it hasn't really had any shock. So I am really quite disappointed if I've broke it. And if not, like I say, it's still disappointing because the device shouldn't rattle. If something rattles, in my eyes, it's not built to last. Sorry guys. So I, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to talk about the coils and the liquids I've used and my experience of that. Uh, and because there's quite a few different variations, I'm going to look at my notes just to make sure I don't get mixed up. Right, so first I had Nixol. I had Eisenberg by Vampire Vapes, original Nixols in it. Well, I know original Nixols, Eisenberg, whatever. But I had the actual official Vampire Vapes, Eisenberg, Nick Salt in it. And uh, 0 0.6, on, on the smart node I could put a uh, Nick Salt in that, drag on it, and it'll be quite decent. In this I didn't seem to get much flavour, I didn't seem to get, uh, it was quite harsh as well, not harsh in a nick off, but harsh if you could feel it back of your throat. And with Nick Salt on a pod system, I really don't expect to see that. There's not enough, I mean, I can hit Nick Salt's at 160 watts on my 0.2 coil on my uh, V-God. So if I'm saying this is harsh, then there's something seriously missed there. Next, I put 7030 with 0.6. The flavour was better, um, and it was smoother, but still, if I put my inverse, I still wouldn't say it was a good taste, I still wouldn't say it was smooth. It's just better than Nick Salt's on 0.6. And don't start messaging saying you shouldn't be using Nick's Holtz at 0.6. I don't need a lecture on that. I'm just telling you of my experience of it. So then next I put uh, Salt, S-O-L-T, Blackjack, Nick's Holtz in. Uh, with the 1.2 coil. Now the reason I chose that one to put in is because that's what I used on the Vupu Drag Nano. So I had something more to compare it with. And... That were a fair bit smoother and the flavour were okay, but still in comparison to the Vupu drag, I don't think it was anything special. Uh, and to say I just looked at the RRPs and the retail pricing, and they're about the same price as the Vupu drag, 
Uh, I'm sorry guys, but I, I'd go that every day. I just don't think the flavour with any coil and with any liquid, the flavour's not all that good. And like I said, it, you have to find the right mix for it to be smooth. And I'm sorry, but the other pods I've done, I haven't had that problem with. I just haven't really got off great with this pod system. And I thought I had more notes, but it turns out I am. So there you go, the uh, Lyra, Lyra, whatever it's called. That's another bad point, it's got a silly name that I can't pronounce. That would joke, by the way. Um, so yeah, there you go. This week I'm giving two of these away. I'm giving mine, and I've also bought an extra one to give away. Just because I'm kind like that. So someone's going to win a brand new one, and someone's going to win this one. I have used both cards for this, so I'll put you one or two new coils in it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm currently waiting for this week's review toy to arrive again. So as soon as that arrives, I'll announce this week's winner for this and talk about next week's review toy. Um, meanwhile, then I'll just do a quick recap. The flavor's not amazing. It's not the smoothest. Battery's quite good. Lasts all right. Feels good. I like the changeable coils. Charge on a battery, sorry. Uh, with USB mini, not USB-C which is a downside because it's a fairly new system uh, and I like the LED light but unfortunately I, I, even even if I uh, get one I'm not going to get one, I'm not going to stock it because I don't think they're all that good even though everyone else on the internet seems to be raving about them sorry guys if you're looking for a pod system there's plenty of better pod systems on the market but each to their own see you in a minute guys so my this week's review toy has arrived. It is the Magicool by Horizon Tech. It's apparently a Nick Salt Stick, which I find strange concept, but we're going to get it go. We're going to find out what you can and can't use with it. I'll do the unboxing video tomorrow. Well, I'll do it today and upload it tomorrow. And then I'll go for giveaway. Don't forget, guys, comment, read the terms and conditions, comment for a chance to win this or a brand new one. There will be two to give away next week. The winner of the lit RDA is, wait for phone to change, Lee Deacon. Congratulations, dude. I'll message you on YouTube, and I think I know who you are on Instagram as well, so if I can, I'll message you on here just in case. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment for a chance to win the lever. Um, till then guys, stay cloudy.